how y'all doing? Well, today I decided to do a little talk about are you a leader or are you a victim? Now, the reason why I pose this question is because if you're going to be a leader, then you can't be a victim. They are opposing concepts <laughs> because a leader is strong. A victor, a victim is weak. So which are you? Are you strong or are you weak? If you're going to be a leader, yes, you're going to have vulnerabilities and no leader is perfect, but you still need to be strong and you need to have a leader's mindset. And here at the Dreams Academy, those are the concepts that we're talking about because a leader is the one who sets goals and accomplish them. A leader is living their dreams. A leader is doing what it takes. They're taking action to get things done. So are you a leader or are you a victim? Victims make a lot of excuses about things, you know? Um, they procrastinate. They say, out of there's not enough time in the day for everything that I need to get done. It's not about there being enough time in the day. It's about you making it have enough minutes, seconds in the day for you to get done what you need to get done. So if you are a leader, you're not procrastinating. You're using your time wisely. And what does that look like? You have a plan. You don't just go each day and just wing it. No, that's not what a leader's going to do. A leader's actually going to take the time to prepare themselves. You know how when people are doing, uh, you know, they have a diet and they're like, they're on a diet and they're like, well, you got to do food prep, food prep. You know, that food prep is what saves them time and keeps them on track with their diet. So for a leader, you got to make a plan. So what are you going to do? So you have a goal of what you're trying to reach for that week, right? You have a goal. So then you need to lay out the different tasks each day that are going to get you there. And you have to allot time in your day to do the task. It is not enough <laughs> to create a plan. You actually have to make time. So you don't want to say, oh, today I'm going to do X, Y, Z, but you don't put you don't set aside any time on your calendar to do it because what will happen, life will happen to you. Things will pop up. People will need you. But if you have a plan and you've had scheduled your task, you know, between this time and this time, I am not to be bothered. I'm going to focus on this unless it's an emergency. I'm going to focus on what I choose to. And what I choose to focus on is me and me being that leader who accomplishes <laughs> my goals and completes my task on a daily basis. Because those small incremental tasks is what's going to get you to that ultimate goal. And then that goal is going to allow you to live your dream, right? Our past can sometimes hold us up. So we're out here and we're doing it and we're making plans and we're doing the task, but sometimes there just is a roadblock that you don't understand. You don't know where it came from. It didn't come from anybody else. For some reason, you just can't push through. Now I'm going to give you a little tip here. Okay. This is one of those Dreamers Academy tips. If you are on a good path on your journey, doing what you need to do, and then for whatever reason, you just hit a roadblock that you can't even see. But for whatever reason, you cannot muster up the strength and the courage to continue on. That roadblock is you. And that roadblock is coming from things that have happened to you in your past. So I know I talk about being mindful and living in the moment and living in, you know, the day, right? But when your past is knocking on your door and preventing you from doing what you need to do in the present so that you can have the future that you desire, you have to stop, you have to pause, you have to recognize that trigger, and you need to heal from it. So I don't know what that issue is, but you have to think about, why am I feeling this way? What has happened? Do some meditation. Pray. Talk to family and friends that are close to you that know you really well. Because something may have happened that triggered you to pause and not move forward. And you don't want that to continually happen to you. So you have to heal from your past. Now I do have a workbook. It's called Releasing Your Past Pain, Hurt and Trauma. You can check that workbook out. I give tips and tools in that workbook as well because it is important for us to heal from our past and to recognize the triggers so that we can heal and to move on so that we don't have these roadblocks that are impeding our manifestations. So I wrote that work workbook along with mindset, belief, action, and along with the universal laws, because I believe that trio of workbooks is what's going to help you move forward in your journey of manifesting the life of your dreams. As leaders, 
we go through a lot of things in our life, you know, and we don't understand why does the journey have to look like this? Why did I have to suffer so much pain, hurt, and trauma? What is this for? Because it makes no sense. You're like, why? That's at least how I used to feel. But you know what I realized? All that stuff I went through in my past and that I'm currently working through and things that I have completely gotten over, they are a part of my story. My story is what makes me relatable to you and to others, right? And so with that story, I'm able to show you what I've been through and we're able to connect and relate and I can help you to move forward and to overcome what you're going through. So please take the time to recognize your triggers and to get over that pain from the past. You got to release it. You got to let it go because in doing that, you are freeing yourself. And I go into detail and in what that means and what that looks like and tools to use in my workbook, Releasing the Past Pain, Hurt and Trauma. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. I so appreciate all the members of the Dreamers of Academy. And I hope that this video is hitting home for you and is making you realize that if I'm going to be a leader, I cannot be a victim. I have to get over my past pain, hurt, and trauma. I can no longer make excuses. And I need to keep moving forward because other people need to hear my story so that I can help them overcome as well. Have a great day, Dreamers.